up, y'all? Guess who came to see me today? Miss B Love. Yes, Miss B Love herself. She wanted some extra long duck nails. And I said, girl, you know I got you. So I got to shape in the foul. And this is my first time doing extra long duck tips. So she was kind of worried. And I was a little bit too. But then I'm like, girl, you in good hands. Don't play with me. Then she like, haha, girl, I know. But girl, we've been locked in since day one. So anyways, I get to blending in the tip. I'm using white duck tips because I didn't have any natural colored tips. You want to start with a square tip first. Then glue the duck tip at the end so i'm using this new acrylic that i made so i can't tell y'all the brand because i mix so many brands together to make this acrylic and i use some pastel colors to give me this new color i laid my acrylic so nice and smoothly for the first time i'm like okay then and i'm just thinking to myself oh you ain't even really got to do a lot of fouling that's how you want it that's what you want okay girls okay so we got the buffing shaping and fouling she's like okay i like these next we're gonna go in with our blues we decided to do a blue thing I'm creating a smile line using my thin brush that I made on my own by cutting up a brush a little bit. I like to use D&D. This is Blue Island. I really, really love it. My brain get to going, so I pull out my airbrush and I do a little bit of mixing part gel, part acetone. Okay, I get to get a trigger happy when it comes to this airbrush, but I use two different blues and I created a smile line using my round brush, cleaning it up with some acetone. So your girl was just all over. I threw a little bit of cheetah print on there. I threw a little bit of 3D on there and I threw a little bit of rhinestones and bang. Baby, <laughs> nothing else to say. Bang it. Okay, get into these nails. Ah these babies are so cute. She was so in love, and I was too. 